Hey everyone, welcome to the table. In this episode, we are going to be making Belgian Liège waffles with espresso chantilly. Now let's take a look at what we're going to need. We're going to need four cups of bread flour, three tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a cup of milk at room temperature. Now that's important. Three teaspoons of active dry yeast, two tablespoons of honey, two eggs whisked, two sticks of butter cut into cubes, the pulp of one vanilla bean or two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and one cup of Belgian pearl sugar, which I will show you how to make right now. Let's head over to the stove. We're mixing three quarters of a cup of sugar with one tablespoon of water over low heat. Let it simmer, mixing and shaking it up occasionally. As it dehydrates, it will begin to form clumps. Now, you might have to use your whisk like a shovel to get around the bottom of the pot. Let it cool and dehydrate overnight. Once it's fully dehydrated, you can break the bigger pieces into the smaller pearls with your fingers. It's quick and easy. Okay, on to the waffles. Whisk the yeast into the milk and set it aside to bloom for about five minutes. If you're using a vanilla bean, split it from end to end on one side, and using the back side of your blade, scrape the pulp out. There's a lot in there, so be very thorough. In a stand mixer, fitted with the whisk attachment, add the eggs, honey, all of it, brown sugar, vanilla, salt, and the yeast and milk mixture, and the rest of that damn salt. And go ahead and mix it until it's well combined. Now switch to the dough hook attachment and add the flour and mix it on low until it forms a mass of dough. Once the dough comes together, begin adding the softened butter cubes a few at a time. Make sure they're well mixed before adding more. This step takes patience, but just be cool, it's totally worth it. Knead on a low speed until the dough is smooth and has an elastic look and feel to it.
Transfer the dough to a lightly buttered bowl. Cover it and let it rise until it has doubled in size for about two hours. Once it has risen, beat the crap out of it and get that big air pocket off the top. I'm just kidding, do it gently. Once you're done with that, recover it and pop it in the fridge and let it rest for at least four hours or up to overnight. The next day, pull your dough from the fridge and using your hands, gently fold in that beautiful pearl sugar. Then transfer the dough to a floured surface. Divide the dough ball into 8 to 10 equal pieces. Using your hands, form each piece into a round ball. Butter up a preheated waffle iron and cook each waffle for about 3 to 5 minutes. You'll want to use your nose here more than the timer. You'll know they're done when you can smell a sweet, nutty aroma and the waffle is a nice and dark golden brown. Alright, now that we have our waffles, let's make some espresso chantilly. Bust out your hand mixer in a large bowl. Get one cup of heavy cream. One tablespoon of sugar. And one tablespoon of espresso grounds. Using your hand mixer, mix it on low speed until stiff peaks form and you can see air bubbles all throughout the cream. Hey everyone, thanks for watching, I really hope you learned something here, and if you like what I'm trying to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check that notification bell to stay updated, uh, because in the next episode we're going to be going over some food photography basics. See you then.